Senator, next week, lawmakers in the Senate expected to debate on this. You're one of the senators in the Democratic Party supporting this Dodd-Frank fix-it bill, whatever you want to call it. A lot of your colleagues disagree, and they say this is a rollback and a dismantling of Dodd-Frank. What do you say to folks in your party who feel that way? I say as someone who was part of the original drafting group of Dodd-Frank, I think it is a critically important piece of legislation. And our financial system is much stronger because of the rules and regulations in Dodd-Frank. And I would do nothing to undermine that basic tenet. But eight years after the fact, you know, every major piece of legislation needs a bit of a fresh look and a review. And our focus, which gives relief to community banks and credit unions that did not cause the crisis in the first place, I believe will actually expand lending on Main, Main Street and through a lot of rural and mid-sized Amer town America. And I think that's a step forward. My comments here uh, rebutted the, some of the false claims about this bill rolling back the critically important stress test on our major banks. We're not touching that. Those will remain. And uh, I think you're going to see a broad-based, I be believe close to 70 votes, so a broad-based uh, bipartisan coalition with this legislation. I have to ask a quick follow-up on this. Senator Sherrod Brown, the top Democrat on this committee, saying that this would really be good for international banks. Your thoughts on that? Again, another one of my colleagues specifically asked the Fed chairman whether this would relieve burdens on some of the international banks who have a presence here in the United States. The way I heard the Fed chairman, he said, that is not the case. The foreign banks who have a presence here will still have to adhere to the strict standards. Final question, I know you're busy. You said you anticipate 70 votes supporting for cloture or even for final passage on this. Is this, I guess, a rare instance? I mean, your party, put it in perspective, I guess, for our audience in the sense that your party right now trying to decide whether or not it ought to be railing against banks, railing against business, or more moderate on this approach. What do you feel that this vote next week might symbolize for the direction of your party and, and your role in it? Um, <clears throat> we've been working on this legislation for four years, <laughs> I know. long before this president uh, came into power, because we hear from community banks, credit unions, folks in our local communities, how some of the regulatory overburden for these smaller institutions has cut back on their lending ability. Uh, we want to give that relief. Now, I still believe the banks that cause the major challenge, the largest institutions, the so-called SIFI banks, we need to keep very strict standards in place regulating those institutions. This legislation does that. Uh, it does give the relief that we've been working on for four years. The fact that it falls under this president at this time, I get that causes consternation amongst some. But at the end of the day, our job still here is to get things done. And if we're going to end up with 65 to 70 votes, I think that shows an awfully broad-based coalition in an otherwise pretty fractured town.